Hiya, I'm back again. Uh, part two, painting the fuchsia. And uh, that's a pile of clean washing, still wet, behind me on the worktop, take no notice. Okay, so here I am, and I thought I'd try and get it as close as possible to what I'm doing, because it's a fairly small kind of cam thing I'm doing this evening. I did a little bit more, as you can see, when, when you were away there. Now Lily's out the back, kind of throwing shapes. She's full of beans, so after coming home from her friend's house, so we might have some interruptions, but I've warned her because I actually had to restart the video because of her carry-on, so I've warned her not to be interrupting us now this time. Actually, to be honest, I had to turn it off on her because I forgot to put on the microphone. So I'm making um, a colour with a uh, burnt sienna and Prussian blue for to darken down this side of the top of the fuchsia a little bit more. Now that I've increased the <coughs> uh, contrast elsewhere. And this burnt sienna stem could be a little bit warmer too, I think. Standing up here. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm on. I'm filming a thing, Erin. You can print away, though. Erin, I'm I'm on the video now, so I'm doing a video. Just link it up to the printer. You're on computer. Jeepers. Jeepers. I can't cut it, I don't have an editing package. <laughs> I did tell you. There's a, a protest march on Friday for the for climate change, and the lady's doing a banner for it. <coughs> kind of strange time to decide to do a banner. Half done on the school night, but I'm gonna keep her occupied for a while. Yeah, the coloured one is full. The coloured one is full. Damon, I'm wanting to have something done before the end of the video, so there is a sense of urgency creeping in now with all my talk of being meditative and quiet. Um, quite watery, but it's okay. So I've just dried the brush now and I'm going to pull down the watery pigment because I want these to read as being delicate, so I want there to be quite a lot of water in the paint. And then of course there's this long one that's kind of slightly bent there. And it's a little bit more reddish, the colour of that one, so a bit of cadmium red into that. <coughs> and now the, the little, I think they're called stamen or whatever they are, the little lumpy bits at the end have a characteristic kind of C-shape to them. Probably a bit darker than it needs to be, but uh, just gonna try and disperse them as convincingly as I can here. There's a whole little bundle of them there, and then this one's kicking off one side on its own, and that one is kind of flurry down here, but it's actually a lot paler than the others. 
So once that's dried, I lift the the water out of it, and it should um, read as being lighter than in colour. 